Hi guys, I thought it'd be fun if I do a complete format of this. No windows. I did actually try to resize my earlier crypt setup that I made in my earlier boot thing, but I wasn't able to. So I'm just gonna nuke my SSD. I think this is a block discard. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so the, the data is wiping and then I'm gonna re reboot and then I'm gonna try and install Arch within five minutes. So wish me luck. Wish me luck. I've actually tried before and I, I failed. <laughs> so here, here, here we go again. I got my Arch Linux September 2020 USB key plugged in there. That's why that, that's what it's booting by default when there's nothing else to boot from. And I probably need to. Um, it doesn't. So I have to replug my HDMI in there. So I'm going to set a timer here. Do I have internet? Yeah, I do. You need internet, guys. Let me quickly install Terminus font. Set font T. 32N. Okay. So we have we have internet and we have a blank slate. So let me just do five minutes here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, first off, we need to G this 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 device, the SSD drive. Um we need 200 megs for the ear fire boot partition. Um, weird code. Then we go for the Linux one. Yep, force. It's a 500 meg drive. So, yep. Then I do a VFAT minus 32 dev on the first partition, the ear fire boot partition. Sorry, I hate typing this in. And then I need to do a crypt setup minus Y minus V looks. So I like to have a whole root encrypted. I think this is the simplest way. If you know better, do let me know. Okay, now we set up an encrypted disk. Now I need to open it. Uh, Open. I hate this partition name. Crypt root is typically just the name for it. Let me type my password phrase again. I think I got it wrong. Okay. Then I ext4 for the win. This mapper. Don't. Okay. So this is what this is what the the crypt is encrypted on. Okay, now I need to mount that very same XD board drive on mount. And then I put the FI one on. Oh yeah, I need to create a boot mount point. <laughs> boot. Arch. Uh, no, pack strap. Pack strap. Okay, let's just do that. That should have everything we need. Okay. I hope. Got two minutes and 40 seconds left. Oh dear. Mount. Okay. First things first, I really like to change the password. Because it's unset and it's really sad to reboot your machine and not be able to log in. Okay, now I um, need to set up Linux and not to forget Linux firmware. That's really important. I need Vim. Let's just go for it. So when you install Linux, it installs automatically into that slash boot thing. But the big problem is, is that the, the init RAM OS, the sort of initial Linux bootstrap environment needs to be set up with crypt, up, crypt, with crypt setup so that you can decrypt your encrypted root. 
So I need to set up the hooks. It's running the hooks right now, but the hooks are wrong. Then I just need to quickly edit that. I don't need that. And I usually just put it over here for some reason. Okay. Um, this is how to run the, the hooks again. Make init CPO minus P Linux. Okay, I got a minute. I got a minute. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and just download um, one of my loader entries. See SD encrypt, that's important. Uh, yeah, come on. Okay, now I'm going to quickly curl down my little cheap script. 2020.09.06 a.tar xvf a.tar doesn't look like a tar file. That's interesting. What is it then? Ah, I have to put HTTP. Let me see it properly. Okay, so, um, so boot CTL install. Now go into boot, loader entries. Then I copy that arch here. Then I edit it, and then I put in block ID. I've got to read in block ID, sorry. I'm going to run out of time, aren't I? So I need this UI, the one that ends in C, ends in B. Ends in C. I think that's good, you know, that, that, should, be, that should be good. Boot CTL uh, update. Boot CTL list to double check everything's right. I highly recommend you do that. Um, I don't know how much time we have, but I'm going to quickly copy in this EN network here and go system D CTL enable system D network D so that we have internet reboot. Sorry, reboot. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we did it. It's out. How much time do we have? It didn't make an alarm or something. Huh? Have I got this thing on silence? Okay, brilliant. Now I type in my password. Uh, yeah. Arch installed, guys. Wow, please give the video a like and thanks for watching and subscribe. And yeah, this is the way to install it. If you know better, please comment below. Bye now.